Orleans on and off for 15 years. Um, been playing on Frenchman Street since 2007. Started in the doorway of Cafe Rosanico and since moved inside. Ooh, there used to only be like, I don't know, three, four clubs on the street and now it's just like, every building is a club just about, which is great. It's great for our economy, you know, uh, but it's, it's certainly lost a bit of its local feel in the last few years. A lot of people have pretty passionate opinions on it too. They're like, oh, it's turning into Bourbon Street. It's this, it's this, this. And it's like, no, it's not turning into B Bourbon Street. It is really crazy, but it's still about the music and not about hand grenades at titty bars, you know, <laughs> or t-shirt shops. Frenchman Street characters, that's like its own thing, you know, Uncle Lionel, Big Red, uh, Monty Banks, Jerry Jumanville, uh, there's just, there's an incredible amount of awesome characters here, you know, you don't realize, Mad Dog is another one, you don't realize like how important they are to the culture and the music and just the entire atmosphere of it all, just the entire entity itself until one of them disappears and then you're like, oh. You know, should have appreciated them more while they were here, you know. I never wanted music to feel like a job. It should just always be fun. But at a certain point you realize it is a job. And you do have a responsibility to the people there to entertain them and to do a good job. You know, and since I've balanced it, um, I'm not angry about it anymore. I kind of look at it with work ethic, you know. And different venues and different shows ask for different things, like uh, Spot a Cat on a Saturday will be like, well, these people are here to party, so let's give them a party, let's do the hits, and the wow, you know, because they want to drink and dance. At Chicky Wawa, I get to do like, quieter songs, country tunes, and jazz standards, just me and a piano, so I really get to express myself vocally that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is a job at the same time, it is an artistic release, every single time, in a different way. And that's why I like to do so many different kinds of music and different kinds of shows, you know, because it keeps, keeps me artistically satisfied, but uh, keeps a roof over my head too. <laughs> yeah, you know, variety is the spice of life. You, pigeonhole yourself, you know. You don't get all that you can out of it. And I think people's personalities are more complex than just to have one track, you know. I mean, we're blessed to be able to get to do what we love, you know. We just have to Remember that we love it. <laughs> and even the ones where it is a job, like tonight I've got a private party, you know, probably going to be background music, but then I'll play with the musicians. We'll play for each other and find enjoyment in it that way, you know. My band stopped me from breaking a stool over somebody's head, but they were like, don't go to jail, we have to finish the gig. And I was like, but that guy! <laughs> Asses on Frenchman? Yeah. My ass is all over Frenchman. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's embarrassing. <laughs>